Hello everyone, my name is Alex. I am the centre manager here at our Spear Kennington Centre um, and we love being a part of the St Mark's team. Um, Steve has just asked me to share a few thoughts this morning um, on a passage that I'm going to talk about in a bit, but talk about this idea of peace um, and what is peace. Um, before I do that, I just wanted to let you know that we have recently involved, enrolled 16 young people onto our programme who will be working with over the next six weeks um, and then supporting for the year after that. Um, it's a great group of young people with a lot of joy and laughs and jokes already, um, but also this real sense of community um, and some amazing characters who haven't got it easy. A lot of them have got a lot of barriers and things holding them back, but they are really resilient and really looking forward to telling you stories of what they get up to. Um, and especially we will have our, uh, specifically we'll have our um, celebration, which will happen in six weeks time, which we'll let you know about. Um, but in addition to that, if any of you um, are looking to get involved with Spear, do let me know. Um, we're always looking for young people who might be interested, but also any local connections of people who would like to volunteer. So let me know. But I wanted to ask a question this morning of what is a moment that you have really savoured this week? What is a moment where you have been able to be still and enjoy it? just noticing that peace that only God can offer. But for me personally, my favourite time of day is in the morning. I often wake up really early and uh, often go for a little walk around my, um, my, my, my road. And it, I just love the kind of, as the world wakes up, as the sun is starting to burst through the clouds, there's this peace and I'm starting to get that sun bursting through now through the London sky. Now I wonder, what is a moment you have savoured this week? Paul writes in Romans 5, 1-2, that this verse here. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace through God, our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Peace and hope. I love this phrase of we have peace through God, uh, with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Who've, whom we, through whom we've now gained access. It's so simple and yet so powerful. And I wonder what area of your life would you like more peace today? From this passage, we, we understand the simple truth that I am a Christian and therefore peace is with me. As we found out this year, uncertainty isn't going anywhere. We need supernatural peace to be a part of the foundation of our life. Fundamentally, this supernatural peace gives us a simple pace to life. It gives us the ability to not understand where we're going, but to go there anyway, trusting God. And I, I fully believe that God has called us to thrive in the middle of the waters that we do not understand. Um, leaving us in a place where we can boast in the hope of the glory of God. An ancient Chinese philosopher um, called Lao Tzu said this, if you're depressed, you're living in the past. If you're anxious, you're living in the future. But if you're at peace, you're living in the present. What are those moments that you have savoured this week? What are those moments when you have really lived in the present without fearing the past or worrying the, about the future? We believe that peace is a person, so it doesn't matter what situation or location we're in as long as we bring the Prince of Peace into it. Panic can be contagious, so can anxiety. But you know what? So is calm, so is peace. I really pray that today we can be people of calm, people of peace, that people around us will notice that calm. Pray today that peace is your portion. And if there's any area of your life that doesn't have that peace in it, we fight for it because peace is our portion. Just a simple thing you could try that I've been doing recently is just writing the word peace on a piece of paper and just putting it in your piece of po in, putting it in your pocket so that you walk through the day having peace in your pocket. And every time you put your hand in your pocket, you find the word peace. I don't know if that's going to help or support you, but I pray that today would be one of peace and today would be one where you look back 
and savour the moment. Have a great day, Simrocks. See you soon.